Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of your favorite program, Discovery in Education, brought to you by Kidafan Salon Discoveries, with me, Amza Turi. Well, in today's edition of the program, we are here at the Millie's Academy, a community school in King Tom, and we have come to witness the very first launching of the Sustainable Development Goals for Schools that has been um, introduced for the very first time in this country by the very first school, Millie's Academy. Well, follow me as we make more discovery on this event. The SDG covers um, a broad range of issues. How? How do some like SDGs, like the Climate Action, connect to the human rights. Please enlighten us. Okay, I'll do so. That's fantastic. While SDG, the 13th goal of the Sustainable Development Goals, it talks about climate action, it ultimately um, relates to the third article of the fundamental human rights, that is rights to life. A healthy environment paves the way for a better life for the future generations that are coming up. And also, by taking action on climate change, we are protecting these fundamental human rights. Thank you. Cogent, pageant and intelligent presenters. Just as my colleague has just said, if you've missed any part of our program, you can visit our Facebook page at www.millisacademy.com. Till next time, goodbye. Thank you. Please, I would love to see all of you clap. We just clap. Just clap, clap. Please, I want to part of this program. Please clap. Something urgent. Please just clap. I will tell you, just clap. Because the person I'm not saying for this thing today. All right. So just clap again as we welcome our very first speaker for today. So as that. Uh, it's going to be settled by madam. Let me see how much of you appreciated what um, I've been done over there. Did you get anything from them? Did you learn? So what did you learn? What did you learn? We are in a shopping spree. And no one is supporting them. So on behalf of my family, I want to donate this to these guys. Would I clap? So you can all it's right. Mr. Smile, smile, smile. You know the power of Mr. Mr. That is affecting the mind. So just clap again, please. Just clap. Oh my god, clap. Mr. Abubakar Bai. Just clap, just clap, just clap, just clap. Voice, please. Uh, okay, let's do something quickly. When I say Millie's Academy, we say we stand to achieve the SDGs. We stand to achieve the SDGs. Are we ready? Yes. Millie's Academy. We stand to achieve the SDGs. Millie's Academy. We stand to achieve the SDGs. Nice one. Thank you very much. So, um, over the years, since 2015, we've been talking about what? Sustainable Development Goals. And when we talk about what? Research and climate resilience. Sierra Leone as a country has evident environmental disasters over the years. And I know we all, by one way or the other, are aware about what? The 2017 disaster, right? Yes. The mudslide and that of what? The flooding. And one of the goals, SDG 13, is talking about what? Climate action. Well, when we talk about climate, it's interrelated to other words, SDGs. Okay? 
I love the fact that one of the panelists was talking about um, how climate change so affects the rights to what? Life, right? So today, when it comes to climate change, it most of them come from something called what? Global warming. To start with, global warming is not like a bad thing to a greater extent. However, some human activities or the major or extensive use of fossil fuel as results of it becoming what? A bad thing. So I want you to imagine the world of being what? Being covered by a blanket of gases called what? Carbon dioxide. Okay? But as a result of the extensive use of what? Fossil fuel like charcoal, firewood, and we increasing our carbon footprint every now and then have resulted to what? We have been too much of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which has been what? Contributing to a major what? Problem called climate change. Today, we all know we want to achieve goals, but how do we achieve them? We don't even know. People speak about, if I ask you today, what do you want to become? You will tell me, hello. I already love your school. Don't make me say your school, you disturb it. Thank you. That is the reality. I already am liking your school, to be honest. Thank you. Like this say, I teach, and I know what it means to teach. Once you are teaching, others are talking, just preserve your energy. Once they are done, you go ahead. I have a bad principal in at the university. If I'm teaching, you disturb my class, we are done with that topic. I'm gone. Oh yeah, because I keep telling people you must know why you are here. Your parents should not be paying your resources for you and yes, you are wasting it. It's so difficult to pay for, for fees, to pay for costs and the rest of it. I know what it means. So let's just place this in, okay? As I was saying before, issues of goals, these are everybody's issues. We all want to achieve goals, but how do we do it? We begin to wonder, how do I go? And it's key, the population, these are the people that make the goals. Then if we are going to achieve the goals, it means we must make a good use of the population. That has to do with you and I. But today, it's a sad thing in most cases. The population is growing, yes. We are growing at a very fast rate. I'll just give you some few statistics. For instance, in 1700, we just had like 600 million people. In 1700, in 1800, we had a billion people. And today we have close to 8 billion people on planet Earth. That tells you we are overpopulated, we are overblotting. That 8 billion people, it means you are fighting for the space that I'm equally fighting for. Come to Sierra Leone. In 1963, we had 2.1 million people. 1974, we had 2.8 million people. 1985, we had 3.5 million people that went to 4.9 million people in 2004 and 7.1 million people in 2015. Today we are almost 8 million people in Sierra Leone. That tells you we are increasing every day. What must we do? Innovation is the only way we can narrow the gap between the rich and the poor. Do we agree with that? Yes. Currently, the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poor. But by the grace of God Almighty, with innovation, we can narrow the gap. Two of us. Sometime in Sierra Leone, there was a boy known as Kelvin Doe. Do we know that man? No. Let me just give you a brief about Kelvin Doe. He was a boy that grew up from a deprived community. He came on a Popo community and he said Po. Kelvin Do is a young man that scavenges the Canada Bome area, Gampic Peak, Cable Corp, and the likes. Where he go, he join join them for help for contribute to community. Um, Madam, please permit me. I'll be using the Creole and English so we can understand better. Are we together? This young man, they move Bome to Bema, Dotty Box to Dotty Box. They scavenge, look for things there, where they able for go make, waiting in those say, 
will serve in community. Because innovation, not to for solve your own problem, but not for solve community problem. Okay? When you get innovation, it's not to solve your own problem alone, but you want to contribute towards community problem, bringing solution to the community. So that was what Kelvin Do was doing exactly. When he does Kelvin, don't get anything there. So he go in community in Adwazak. Forgive me if you live in Adwazak. But by then, the side and area where they live in Adwazak now be a deprived community. In so doing, Kelvin Do, he will forget a radio station. You can imagine this. From what he pick pick in the box. A radio station where he get in Pangoni or Susaibide. When people then tune into the normal radio, then they able to get Kelvin Do and the airway. You can imagine this. As poor as he was, he came to a point in time, because of he don't get a space on the airway, he not go register an IMC, he was not a sludge member, no nothing but a critical thinking make Kelvin Do reach to that stage there. So I am cynical, interested over this young man. Other institutions become interested over this young man. Who is this young man? Where he is? What is he doing to get this radio connected? And this radio, you did a major part of free talk to some time, you didn't able to get Kelvin Do in airway. And not even finish school, you get an opportunity for it from international organization then he grabbed that opportunity day. Today, he's in the United States of America, Massachusetts, one of the best innovation schools in the in attend, get free scholarship, and he's doing extremely well. Honestly speaking, I am trained. I am over the moon. I am on cloud nine. I am very excited. Because, because our journey has just begun. Honestly speaking, our journey has just begun. We have had from different speakers, and Mr. Asmara has made a promise that he will introduce this SDG for schools in his former school, which is Abad Academy. So this is a great honor to all of us. Not only me, but teachers, and everybody. This program, Certificate of Membership. This is to satisfy that Millie's Academy, I say that again. This is to satisfy that Millie's Academy is a signatory of the school commitment of the Sustainable Development Goals and therefore a member, and therefore a member of the Global Schools Program. This is a non credit certificate for institutions by the Global Schools Program to encourage primary and secondary schools to actively learn about, engage with, and take actions on the sustainable development goals. So today, I'm here by honor to hand over this certificate, three of them, to Her Excellency, my official girlfriend, of this school, <laughs> members of staff for their cooperation and especially to you, my pupils, pupils of my school. and your cooperation and I hope you'll hold this, this um, dear to your heart and you study hard because Mr. Ansuman from the ministry will be coming to ask you to test you to see whether you have studied what he has learned to you and for us to push it over to other schools so that we will open it and widen it to other schools and we have more recognition so once again thank you very, very much, my pupils. Thank you. Well, viewers, I'm here with one of the guests um, who came to witness the Sustainable Development Goals for Schools launching 
at Millie's Academy. Of course, Millie's Academy is the very first school in the country to ever host this event and to be a signatory to this project. Well, I'm here with Hawaba. She is from the Government Kingdom School. Hello, Hawaba. Okay, thank you for joining us in the program. Um, so you are, you are one of the very first students to ever um, go through this experience. Can you tell viewers how this makes you feel? Happy. Okay, so how Abba says she feels happy. And of course, today, um, a lot of things we are discussed with regards, um, you know, the education system in the country, as well as how some of these goals can help you know to develop the country what are some of the things that uh, what are some of the key things that you learned during this program racial inclusion like it tells us that it must be i may use the word pauper by force and quality education we must have a quality education we must have a growth mindset Okay, so um, Hawa is making emphasis on quality education and of course um, inclusion, right? Of course, um, among the, 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 the emphasis of the government in terms of education, they have what they call the radical inclusion, right? And also the free and quality education project. So of course, those are very important. And in, of course, in Sierra Leone and also in Africa as a whole, um, there was a time when education was not too inclusive. And I don't think that's still the case because um, being educated in Sierra Leone has a lot of um, other requirements. And of course, that can sometimes, you know, put others at a disadvantage. Thank you very much, Hawa. And before you go, finally, now that you've, you've just mentioned some of the things that you've learned, right? When you go to your school on Thursday, because tomorrow is a public holiday, when you go to your school on Thursday, what are you going to do with this information? Well, I will try to serve as an ambassador for my school on this SDG. And I will try to speak to my principal for us to launch it and make it part of our syllabus as a subject, because it really helps. When I'm in Millie's Academy, I learned a lot and taking it to my school, it will not only help me, I don't want to keep it to myself, but I also want to help my others to learn and understand that without the government or without the teachers, we can do it on our own. That's why they said our mindset, we should have a good mindset. We should try to have education. Like what they said, education is power. Thank you very much, Howard. Welcome. Hello, viewers. We are here at the Millie's Academy where we have come to witness the launching of the sustainable development goals for schools of course the millies academy is the very first school in the country to ever host such an event or to even be a signatory to this program well i'm here with one of their students who also happens to be a school pref um, prefect abubakar kamara hello abubakar and welcome to the program well, it feels great actually because being a part of this sustainable development goals feel like you're above the moon and we being the first school to start the launching and expose this to others, it feels great actually. Okay, and today, of course, there were a lot of things that were discussed um, during the program. Um, can you highlight the key things which you think you will take home today? Um, the first question I'll take, the question that was first asked to me, saying what is the UDHR, that is the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Well, this is um, uh, a fundament, it is, it is a foundational document that was adopted by the United Nations back then in 1948, which outlines the fundamental human rights and freedoms of everyone, regardless of your race, your nationality, your tribe, and what's not. And these rights include the rights to life, rights to liberty, rights to education, rights to democracy, and many more. Okay, so Moham, um, Abu Bakar, you've highlighted some of these things. And of course, we hope that um, you are going to be an ambassador for this, prog um, for this project and you are going to spread the word. Thank you very much for joining us today. Okay, yeah. Well, viewers, I'm here with another guest. 
um, Isaac Sisse, who is from the St. Edwards Senior Secondary School. He came here today to witness the launching ceremony of the Sustainable Development Goals for Schools that um, have been launched by the Millies Academy. Hello, Isaac, and welcome to the program. Hello. Okay, so Isaac, um, first of all, how do you feel, you know, to be the ve um, one of the very first students to ever partake in such an important event? Well, I may proudly say um, it, it is a great privilege for me to be part of this event. Okay, so Isaac, there are, we are a lot of things that we are discussed during the program. Can you tell viewers some of these things? Um, well, some of the things are, um, let, me, let me talk about the radical inclusion and also the importance of the radical inclusion and, and the importance of the um, education in schools. Okay. okay, so how important do you think it is to include, you know, some of these, um, especially some of the ideas that you've just mentioned in schools? Well, actually, in including these ideas in schools can bring um, students closer and can educate them more for them to have the courage. Okay, so Isaac, finally, what are you going to do with some of the things that you've learned here today? Well, actually, since I am a friend came here, um, I'm sure um, I'm going to be the ambassador and also um, letting know to the principal and others students around the school area. Okay, thank you very much. Isaac. Thank you. Well, viewers, we are still at the Millie's academy school and of course we came here we are here today to discover more about the launching of the sustainable development um, goals for schools well i'm here with one of the panelists who was um who discussed or who shared more light on the event and her name is geneba koroma hello geneba and welcome to the program hello everyone okay so geneba um, you are one of the very first students and also a member of the, the, the very first school to ever introduce this program in this country. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel enlightened to be on this wonderful program today because I am one of the ambassadors of these SDGs. And I feel so proud of myself because I never dream of that. Neither have I ever, ever imagined of this day will ever come. A day like this will ever come. Okay. So, um, Geneva, a lot of things were discussed. Um, you know, you were one of the panelists. So, of course, there were a lot of ideas that were bounced around by you and the others. What are some of the key um, things that you think, um, not only you, that students who were here take home like they should know the rules the rules of the sdgs and the udhr because the sdgs are here are there to put them into action so that we can achieve a better future in which the udr udhr are there to lay foundation of human rights establishing the fundamental human rights so they lay the foundation, they put the laws like um, quality education. So there is a, um, the article of the UDHR, they said rights to education, right? So the SDGs said quality education. They have already laid a groundwork that they said um, right to education. Then the SDGs, they said quality education. The SDGs are there now to put this education into activeness, to put them into practice, so that not only for us, the Millis people, other schools, and not only for the schools, but also all over the world, the nation, because some countries have already been developed. They are not even talking about these SDGs because they, already, they have already been finished with it. Okay, so um, Geneva, you've learned a lot and of course being one of the panelists also shows that you have an even greater responsibility. So what are you going to do with all the information that you've learned today? With all the information that I have learned today, I'm not going to keep it to myself. I'm going to share it to other people around me, not only my family, friends. There are a lot of people around me and and for the man that came here the minister of education 
a set that is going to choose us to rep- to represent our school to visit another school like Annie Walsh, Edwards, Pio, so that we can speak about these SDGs and tell people the importance and how they can support the, the SDGs program so that we can be able to make our society be enlightened more so that the society will be significant not only for us but for everyone okay thank you very much jennifer okay sir hello viewers we are still at millie's academy of course we have come to witness the very first launching ceremony of the sustainable development goals for schools and what's interesting to note is that this project has um, the Millis Academy is the very first school in the country to introduce this project. And of course, I'm here with the proprietress of the school, Madam Millicent Ogu, and she's going to tell us about the importance of this event. Good afternoon, Ma, and welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, today is the launching ceremony of the SDGs for schools. And as the proprietress of Millis Academy, the very first school in the country to introduce such a project. How does that make you feel? Oh my goodness. I am so thrilled. I am elated. I'm overjoyed. And I feel so good and, and about humbled because being the first school in Sierra Leone to launch this important um, event makes me feel good. And because it, it broadens, it widens the pupils' horizon. They are not just limited to things happening to them, to uh, around them. Happily, uh, uh, they get more knowledge of global issues, things that will affect them. And as a developing country, the challenges they face, their parents face, they themselves as youth face. So I'm just, just thrilled to be part of this thing and to be the first school ever in Sierra Leone. Okay, so what prompted, you know, um, the idea of bringing about this initiative? Well, thank God I have committed teachers, honestly. I doff my cap to my teachers. I have dedicated and committed teachers who, some of them, they study, they, they, they learn these things at colleges and universities. And so they came up with the idea to me. At first, I was reluctant. I said, well, this, this is too much on, on the pupils. But then thinking over it, I, I, I said to myself, it's a good thing, at least for my students to get more knowledge, to widen their knowledge and to be versatile so that when they go to college themselves, they, it, it's already, it's just a, 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 walk, a walk through for them. So the teachers, they came, particularly a Mr. Mohamed Sisse. Oh, I, I thank God for his life and I pray that he continues to be with me, Melissa Academy. Came up, we came up with the initiative that he has been. He, one of his lecturers taught him about the about these SDGs. First, it was the the, S, the MDGs. Then later, now the M, the MDGs, the SDGs, and so he thought that we can bring it to the pupils and we can have. Uh, like like we have the L and D literary and debating society. We can have it as a club where they can use and they brainstorm. And then later on, we bring in other schools so that they too can open up a club and we can collaborate as schools together and as youth coming up the future leaders. So that prompted me and gave me they gave me the zeal for me to say that yes, we must do it and we can do it and we have done it today. Okay, so what message would you like to send, you know, to those stakeholders who you think can play a great role in ensuring that this project becomes a success? Just come on board, please. Ministry of Education, it's your baby. It's your project because it, for quality education, it, it, it's one of the, the values that, 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 that we need. Radical inclusion, all of the, these things. So Ministry of Education, social welfare. That's your area. We have other NGOs, even co- colleges and u- universities. We have the, the lecturers who have come, governance and leadership. All these are key points that can be highlighted to the pupils. And they learn, and they see that they learn very fast, and they will grow and become good citizens of this, nas- this our great country, Sierra Leone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, too. Well, viewers, this is where we draw the curtain down for today's edition of the program. Don't forget the program that you've been following is 
Discovery in Education brought to you by Kid Afan Salon Discoveries with me, Amza Touré. On behalf of our executive producer, Dr. Aisatu Kake Jalo, our camera operator, Mohamed Sky Bangura, we say thank you for following us and peace. Thank you.